Now here's a quick look at how I'm solving the uh, uh, this problem here. The paper being all torn up. I'll show you by looking at the other side here. So what I've done is I've put in it, just clamped in a, a temporary board here to define a nice line at the top up here. And then I've taken a razor blade and cut there, and the idea is just to get rid of all this crummy paper. Kind of start start a new line, a little lower. And I can do this because there's paper underneath this other paper that I'm ripping off. Can't go down any further than I am now. Or you'd end up seeing bare wood. So, uh, lucky in a way, this is all that's peeled off. So that's what I'm doing to fix that, that part. And this part back here, I think I'm just going to glue it back. And that's, uh, that's going to be about the best I can do, I think. Okay, it's time to remove some of the uh, clamps that I've used here to... I was a little bit worried that it might get glued in there too. Uh oh, not a good thing. Fooey, fooey, fooey. Da. <laughs> <coughs> oh. And the end result of that is nothing good. Nothing good. Let's see if we can stick that down. Throw a little water on it. Try this other area that I've planned. Again, this is to uh, make some of this inner paper stick back against the. Uh, cabinet. Here's hoping I don't have the same problem. Seems, this stuff seems to soften uh, with just water. 
some more down here. I seem to be having a lot better luck here than I would have expected. See if I can kind of force it up into the wallpaper.
There we go. All without talking. I think that's pretty much ready to go. I did manage to solve the uh, fringy paper for the most part. But it still doesn't stick. Stick well. It's much better though than the way it looked before. But this came out really nice. Glued back real nice. Yeah, so it's not too bad. A bit of a drab look to it on the front. But, plays nice. Thanks for watching.